I know, they keep telling me over and over and over again that I always start my seeds too dang early. Dude, I keep telling you, the last frost in this area is the middle of May. What are you thinking? This guy. That's it guys, I'm done, I promise. On camera, to all my subscribers, to all of those people watching, to my family, to my friends, I promise, next season, I will not start seeds until March. Let's get these things planted outside. I got no more room. Let's go. Here's the Here's the flight feathers. I know, I know, you guys don't have to tell me. It's weird, you know, come on, I got it. Lots of weird angles, pieced together, I got it. But you know what, I bet it's gonna work. Come on, look at that. Got a little open window in the front, got plenty of room. I don't know, man, I could pack 10, 15 tomato plants in there. This side here, pretty stable. Can't take any hurricane winds, but what can. Let's try it out, why not? So keep in mind to you guys, what I'm gonna end up doing is basically once these tomatoes exceed uh, this like roof height, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically take these panels right here and here. I'm gonna take them off and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run posts um, every so often, upright posts, and I'm gonna stick those right on top. So it's basically just uh, something to keep the rain off the tomatoes because like we, we all know this, tomatoes hate overhead water. So that's the idea. This is very temporary. I'm thinking maybe a couple months in this, one, one or two months, one and a half months or so, and then break it apart and then just do the transformer and recycle it into something else that I'll use in the garden and uh, hopefully get some uh, use out of these for the next couple of years. taking another chance here that's for sure I don't know if you've ever uh, watched one of these other videos I did on this cold hardy style tomato called the Oregon Spring um, I planted like 10 or 12 of them in the same spot 
um, and had them covered. And then uh, we had gotten a really nasty cold snap that came through. It was like minus 11 degrees Celsius uh, in one night, over one night. And it just wiped all of them out. And it's uh, at no fault to the Oregon Spring because they are pretty cold tolerant and are hardy. Um, that was just too dang cold. So granted, like I said earlier, um, we are definitely still pretty far out to our last frost. Um, so I'm gonna try these out. I'm not gonna try all my tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna do some in here, and then I'm gonna put the rest in the greenhouse, to kind of like temporarily set them up before I bring them back out here, uh, when I'm sure that that frost is gonna be gone and far away from us. These things are so big and tall. I'm gonna go ahead and do this thing that I call the trench method. Um, I'm essentially gonna plant them very deep, but not deep in this way, because I don't have a lot of depth uh, per se to play with with this particular strip of, uh, of soil. So I'm gonna go deep as I can and then I'm gonna run a trench and then I'm gonna lay these tomatoes kind of plants down, kind of like bury them at, at you know, horizontally and then bring them back up and then heal them over. Um, I've done that before uh, in my greenhouse and uh, they actually did really well um, until again, a uh, cold snap came through and, uh, and wiped them out. So trial and error, I just keep on banging it out and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So luckily enough, I've got a bunch of tomatoes in worst case scenario. Uh, if all of this fails, I'll go down to the local home store and I'll pick me up some starts or talk to one of my buddies and see if they can kick me some of their tomatoes that they've been working on as well. So, all right, let's get these things in the dirt. Berkeley tie-dye. Yeah, there's many downsides to starting seeds entirely way too early. But one of them is, for me, just now, is having to try to transport these long, I would say not quite spindly, but almost spindly, uh, tomato plants. And then I just lost one, broke one off the top. Shouldn't be an issue though. Just go ahead and finish the break and plant her up. This one got beat up pretty good. Let's see how it does. I got a 50-50 shot at this thing, but if I lose four more, no big deal. I don't know. I hope it works. All right, guys. Until next time, happy planting, and uh, I wish no frost your way anytime soon. All the best. Ciao, ciao.